Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. Um, I did do some grinding uh, over the past two episodes, nothing crazy, just got everyone up to a reasonable level for where we're going to be at in the future. And if we take a look at the starting team, we now have Vinny at level 20 with, uh, sorry, Bite, Water Gun, Bubble, and Rapid Spin. We have Buddy at level 27 with Cut, Mega Drain, Magical Leaf, and Sweet Scent. Bindi at level 23 with Confuse Ray, Shadow Sneak, Nightshade and Disable. Bailey at level 20 with Metal Claw, Peck, Bubble, and Bubble Beam. Lazy Boy at level 21 with Focus Energy, Encore, Uproar, and Fury Swipes. And the biggest part of our um, grinding adventures that we found a Leaf Stone and evolved Humpty, which I did do the research. He didn't learn much better moves as... Um, pre-evolved as he will evolve, but he doesn't learn much. We evolved quite a bit just to get Stomp, so we're really gonna have to rely on TMs to get him to a place where he is actually really useful besides Hypnosis, but he is at level 20. He now has Stomp, Uproar, Hypnosis, and Reflect. So that is our team. Uh, we are gonna move forward, hopefully get to the fourth batch today in a little bit more story mode. Um, if you would like, check back at the old episodes or look at the fire red series that'll be linked above and in the description and feel free to answer the question of the day which is are you a tea coffee person or an energy drink person myself personally i don't do either one that much but i do like tea more than i do coffee and energy drinks so i would be a tea person but my tea is not like I assume most people who like tea drink their tea. My tea is full of sugar and milk and caramel sauce. So it's quite a uh, unhealthy tea. So it is not a healthy um, pool on my part to say that I am a tea person. But let's get started. We are making our way up here. I did not grab any items. I didn't even come up here to battle any um, trainers or anything so we have not progressed in the story I mainly battled um, right down here I do have the footage from it it just took like an hour so if you all would like to see that just let me know in the comments I'll cut it together but it didn't seem like it was that useful the only thing that really happened that was cool was the evolution but other than that everyone gained a few levels no one evolved or did anything beyond that but we do have a new encounter space so let's see what we can get Uh, yes. <clears throat> this is who carried us through the team in the first Fire Red series. Holy crap. That's awesome. We literally missed out on this earlier in the game and I was so upset. Oh. I can't yell. But I want to. Oh my. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, let's do this right. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's get. Let's see if we can. Put him to sleep and then use Barrage, I think might be good. Oh my god, I hope we get this on the team. I don't know who we would take away. I guess we would take away Humpty, but... Oh my gosh. Our first Legendary. Okay, so he's doing Transform. That's fine. Does Type happen when you Transform? I can't remember. I don't know if they get our... No, they don't. Okay, because our ability doesn't allow us to get put to sleep. I'm not going to use the Ultra Ball until we get him down into the red, hopefully. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. That is... Oh, okay. Um, we don't have Barrage anymore. Okay. Bag. How many Pokeballs do we have? 
Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, please be able to take a stomp. I'm gonna cry. Okay. Sorry, I'm not talking. I just really don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Okay, I think one more should do it. No crits. Um, let's just throw a great ball and see what happens. Come on, come on, come on. You know you want to be on the team. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to have to name this one Vinny too. First ball. What? First ball Mew. Okay. Christmas gift given. First ball Mew. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh. Okay, what do we nickname this? In the first game, it was named Buddy, so we can't really name it Buddy. Um, I got it. It's dumb and punny, but I like it because it's on. Where's the space? Is there a space? No. Okay. Happy New Year. There we go. I can't believe we caught the Mew. I am so excited. I don't even care what was in here before. Let's go battle our way up and put him on the team and we'll have to train him up a little bit, but we're really gonna have to figure out who we wanna get rid of. I would assume it's gotta be Executor, um, but we'll have to take a look, but that is so cool. I am so excited that we got the Mew. Oh, that's such a good Pokemon because it can learn everything. Um, let's do Bite. And let's see where that goes. I just, I, I'm so excited. That is awesome. I did not think that was going to be there because it was in the cave. And I don't know how this is randomized, if it's one for one or if any Pokemon can be obviously randomized to any other Pokemon. But the fact that we just got a Mew on the team again in both series that we've done that's awesome. I, I mean, there are other legendaries that I would think are better typing wise, um, but there's not one that I think is better just kind of as the mascot. I mean, he was in our first series. He's now in this series. You can't really beat it. Sorry, one second. All right, let's get going. Um... And apparently my phone just doesn't, I'm off work, and my phone still just doesn't know how to not ring. I really hope I didn't crack my screen by throwing both phones at the same time. All right, let's get back to it. How is this thing so strong? This ladybug is tanky. Also, I'm not using anything that's really effective. Oh, has it been using Reflect? I have not been paying attention. Come on, Lady Bell. I want to get Mew on the team, and I need you to go away. It has to have been using Reflect, because we have taken no damage this whole match. There we go. I just want Mew on the team. But I feel bad. We just evolved to execute. All right. This is not a new route, right? This is Route 36, Route 37. Yeah, not a new route. Ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. I'm almost used Sweet Scent in that field, and that would have been really rough if it would have gotten something besides the Mew, and then I would have found out that that Mew was in there. 
I am curious, so hopefully we'll see what else was in there, but um, I don't know if there's too many things that would have beaten out the Mew as something that I would have wanted, so we'll just have to wait and see, but I, I really doubt that there is anything. Stantler, man, everyone's got just very average Pokemon. All right, uh, Stantler. Not gonna do much to Skip Loom, which we have a Skip Loom, so I'll be able to see what move sets it gets. Oh, that did a lot more than I thought I was going to. We are level 27 now. Still not over leveled. My goal is to not do what I did in the last series, which was get Mew up to like level 40 by the time we got to the fourth gym. And then all my other Pokemon were so under leveled that I had to level them up in a much more dangerous time when they're all level 30s and 40s. So um, we are trying to keep a more consistent, well-rounded team. With this Mew on the team, we will start trying to cross train it a little bit more um, as we are excited that it is gonna be on the team. All right, I think poison and we will do a Mega Drain. Come on. So yeah, if you are liking this series, feel free to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and tap the notification bell so that you can keep up with all the new videos. Um, I have started a second part on the channel. Um, it's a little rough. I'm, I'm getting used to this type of formatting, but it is kind of a top 10 most expensive things people are willing to pay. The first episode is on Pokemon cards um, and the top 10 most expensive Pokemon cards that have been sold at auction or on eBay. It's called That Cost What? And uh, feel free to give it a listen, check it out. It, it can be done very much with the screen off as almost like a podcast. It's only like 11 minutes long, but it is something that um, I would like to expand on and do a little bit more. I'm gonna have to work on my formatting a little bit more, um, but it is a little bit of fun. Uh, there are some crazy cards that I didn't even know about that have sold for quite a bit of money. So feel free to give it a listen. Uh, comment if you on what you think it can be improved by, or if you know of cards that have gone um, for more that weren't on my list. Um, I went off of a couple lists I could find online and then kind of compared those pricings together because it changes every month. I mean, it's been crazy. If you watch other Pokemon players on, on YouTube, they obviously have been purchasing Pokemon cards left and right. And, um, you know, it's blown up to teach the, the trading card game and uh, the importance of some of these cards. And as I state in the video, a lot of us are becoming of the age where we have a little bit of excess income and some people used to spend that on things in their childhood and for us pokemon was a thing in our childhood and you know that's what we're spending it on i obviously spent mine on more comic related things um, but that was just because aesthetically I, I i do graphic design and things like that and i really love comic books in that way um, and pokemon cards were a little bit more expensive to get your hands on some of those more special cards so um but it, it was a lot of fun to do. It was a lot of research and, you know, just let me know what you think. Oh, we didn't even get an encounter. Okay, let's heal. Is this the Mart or is this the... No, it's just the Pokemon. Uh-oh. So you're gonna teach us about trade? Oh, Bill. Hi, I'm Bill. And you are? Huh, Aquaman. You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon, but it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? This girl, Lanetti from Hoenn, made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod to see my folks. Bye bye Why did Bill get a shout out? All right, so let's look at who we want to deposit. Obviously not Blastoise. 
I feel like having these two water types is not bad to have on the team. They are basically mirrors of each other, but I'd rather have two. We only have one psychic now. I'm going, he just doesn't learn anything. His Musa, and yeah, I know, Mew doesn't learn anything either, but Mew can learn everything. We're gonna do this for now, and then we will see, I'm assuming we'll lose Pokemon eventually, or we will change up the team in a way with these random picks. Pound, transform, Mega Punch. Okay, so let's withdraw you. Does anyone have any good items? I think we did this. Stardust, let's... I can't take their items, which is really annoying. Okay. So we now have a Mew on the team. Not time and place, I didn't mean to hit that. Wave incense. Summary. It's relaxed nature, which I don't really know what that means. It's down in defense, up in speed. I guess. Passes a burn, poison, or perilous to the foe. That's kind of nice. Speed, power, skill, stamina, jump. I don't know what any of that means. But it looks pretty sweet. We have a Mew on the team. Who could be upset about that? Let's move it up to the front and hopefully don't get shadow tagged along the way. So let me go to the Mart. Ooh, it looks so good following behind us. Hello, Mew. We want to buy some great balls, which we don't have a ton of money for, but let's get. 15 of those and let's get some potions let's get 11 of those there we go and let's continue our story Hey, hey. Oh, okay. Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something like a hula dance. You mustn't push such a request on me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? This is weird. Well, then I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. He's got the moves. Hmm. Shit up, Mr. Team Rocket. Get in my way. Well, you're about to see my Mew, and if you have a Shadow Tag, I will go insane. Krabby level 12. Man, the level processing on this game is very weird. We did it. Good job, Mew Year. Almost sounds like Molnir, but it's not. It's Mewnir. Dang, EXP generation. So cute, Mew. Oh no, you make me look like a villain. Oops, I have an important mission. If they find out I was wasting time here, I'll make me start all over as the lowest team rocket grunt. You must be Aquaman, correct? That was indeed excellent. Kind of strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That person does know what to look for in people. Oh? That was just me talking to myself. Never mind. Okay. Oh, golly. Wonderful. You were so courageous for your age. I was... It was a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy. Take it. Ooh, what is this? Is this... Which one is it? Oh, Surf. Cool. We can give Surf to Mew. Or any of our other Pokemon. Really. 
Okay, so we got Surf. Let's see, do we want to test it out right away? I don't know where, I don't know, I honestly don't know where we are. I played the original heart, or the original gold, I always say the original heart. Bell Tower, this tower is built a place of rest for Ho-Oh, the legendary flying type Pokemon. Since Ho-Oh left, many people have gone up to the tower to try to bring it back, but none have been succeeded in making Ho-Oh appear. The gym leader is one who has tried. You don't seem to have the extra advantage. If you can't even defeat Morty, going up there will be a waste of time. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. Okay, so we have to beat the gym leader. Makes sense. Let's go and get another encounter. Which I have to imagine we can. I'm going to have to make a list of all the encounters in... Okay, I know we haven't gotten one here. What is it gonna be? Okay. Not terrible, not great, but not terrible. It's it's a decent grass type, which I don't think we, we have one, obviously, our starter. Um, let me do Mega Punch. It is really bad not having Hypnosis on the team anymore. I kinda stink, sorry, those are my fingers. Please don't die. I'm getting very risky with Mew here. We're not even going to kill, so let me put out... We can confuse. And confuse Ray. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that did nothing. Uh, I'm 10 levels higher. That might be a little rough. Let's do... I should be able to take a Razor Leaf pretty easily. Snapped out of Confusion. Gosh darn it. I thought you would at least last one Confusion. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. That was not what I wanted. I don't know if this guy is worth the effort. That was so close. That was way too close. I did not think... It, I guess that must have been a crit, but I did not think he was going to crit that hard. Oh, that was scary. Ooh, perfect, okay. Oh, come on. I just got you into the perfect part. Bag. Nope. I think we can catch him with the Pokeball. Come on, Grottle, Grottle, Turtle. One, two, Game Boy Luke? No. I should have used it on Mew, but we were. Mew wanted to be on the team. They wanted to rejoin us. It traveled all the way from Fire Red to be on our team. And you're in the ball. You are our Pokemon now. Oh, come on. I'm not going to waste too many on you. Mm. Come on. We have another encounter to get, and you are not prize possession worthy. Game Boy Luke. Come on. Yes, I can see that I have my energy drained. You're definitely not getting Ultra Ball status, so either get... I caught a Mew in one ball and I can't catch this thing on zero health. 
Is this a starter? Is that why this is being more difficult? I can't remember if this is a starter or not. Like Torterra or whatever his name is. Game Boy Luke. Oh my gosh, as soon as I say it. One more. We're gonna go one more great ball and then we're done. Because I'm just not super thrilled about this guy. Apparently Game Boy Luke is not working for me today. But we got it, nonetheless. I have no idea what to Grovile, Grove Pokemon. It lives in the forest and said to have its own secret spring water. Alright, well I'm gonna name you Fuji then. You have your own water. Did I spell that right? As you all know, my spelling is quite bad. Yes, I did. Um, no, I didn't. It's F-I-J-I. -I. Well, see? Sorry. That is why I should not be trusted with spelling. Oh, I guess it's Fiji, not Fuji. Whatever. All right, let's go see if we can get one more encounter and wrap this video up. I've had a great video. I mean, I we got up here, we got Surf, we got Mew. I couldn't have asked for much more. I've hit the mic a million times, which is probably a lot of fun for you all to listen to. Ooh, Pokeball. Muddy Wa- Ooh, that's not a bad move either. I think in the next episode, we'll have to start teaching our Pokemon some moves to get them. Wasn't there your Snorlax here? Uh-oh. Oh boy, sorry that I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. Here, take this. Is it Flash? Wow, we are just getting HMs left and right. Oh, it's strength. Yep. We can go back to that one cave, which is probably this cave. Okay, do we want to get a surfing encounter? Who do we want to teach surf to? I would say Blastoise, right? teach it to Blastoise. Because it is... Sorry about that. Alright, I can't. I lost my screen for a second. Alright, what move should be replaced? I think... Um, probably Rapid Spin just because it's not that useful. All right, let's get Ace our first surfing encounter. How do I, do I have to literally go to the Pokemon and hit surf? Oh, I have to get the new badge. My bad, everyone. My bad, my bad. All right, so let's get our Mount Mortor encounter. Oh, that was quick. Ooh, we do not have a fire type. I am okay with Monferno on the team. Okay, so the question is, how are we going to weaken you down? By just straight up throwing a great ball right away. Okay, I didn't think that was going to work. That's insane! Two great Pokemon on the first ball. Okay. 
A bigger fire on its tail and brighter blue patterns on its face means that its rank in the pack is higher. What do we call you? Did I spell George? That's how we're gonna spell it. George of the Jungle. George. That is awesome. Okay, so now we have a pretty decent fire type. We can get a pretty clean team right now. Okay, let's go set up the team. And then we will end the episode on that, which means I will have some fun editing the end of this video to make sure the team is updated correctly. So I can barely see, so give me a second. Should have brought, should have made the screen bigger. <laughs> Bill's PC. Deposit. Okay, so we are going to keep Mew, keep Roserade, keep Dusknor. Oh, who do we get rid of? Vigoroth, or one of our water types. Um, I feel like we get rid of, because now we have water, water, ghost, psychic, grass, poison, and then fire. I will have to do a little bit of research, I think, but let's check out Monferno nonetheless. I just don't know if I feel confident taking, I need to figure out who's best for the team. Fire and fighting, that's not bad. Uh, summary, what is your ability? Bashful nature, I don't know anything about bashful nature. Powers up, fire type moves in a pinch, that's good. What are your moves? Leer, Ember, Taunt, and Mock Punch. Oh, okay. Um, we will have to wait and see, but I do really think that I want to put you on the team for Vigoroth. I think that's the team that I wanna go with. I will do some research to see if that is not the case but I do think that's the team that I wanna go for. And that is where we are going to end this episode. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great holiday season, whatever that looks like. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode.